Good morning, guys. Welcome to a day in our life. Usually we do a week in our life videos, but I'm gonna try and see if we can be a little bit more intentional and kind of give y'all the details of what it's like to be a physical therapist and then obviously what we do outside of work today. So today's Wednesday. Um, I am actually, this week is my first four day work week and the days that I, or the day that I'm not working is Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. Um, but I actually have a full day of training for my PRN position that I'm getting started with. And so I don't really know what today's going to look like. I know she was saying that I'll probably be there from like eight to four ish. Um, and that I would be doing all of like the orientation training, HR stuff, and then probably have the opportunity to do some shadowing and whatnot. I can't tell if I think today is going to go by really fast or if it's going to feel really slow because I don't know. So I'm starting off my morning by getting ready, brushing my teeth. I think I'm going to do Starbucks this morning. Um, and I will try to do Pink Vegas on a walk shortly. The PRM position that I'm training with today is a different setting than what I normally work in. Um, if you guys have been watching, you know I work in skilled nursing and long-term care. And today I am doing some training and orientation stuff for a position that's going to be neuro-specific. Um, the facility has both inpatient and outpatient options. I don't know if they want to train me and have me possibly provide coverage for both or if they want me to do specific training to one area or not. Um, I don't really have a huge preference. I do think outpatient would be kind of nice, but like, we'll see. We'll see what they want me to do. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. I'm very excited that we just want to do a single day in the life vlog this week. And so, we just pick a day at random. I am currently getting ready to have the gym this morning, so I'm packing my lunch and then my breakfast that I'll eat after I'm done working out. I think today my and I might be going to Zoo Brew, basically the Bone Park Zoo in Des Moines on Wednesdays has like this after hours quote unquote thing they do during the summer where um, basically it's like adults only that can go to the zoo and they have like food trucks, they sell alcohol, that's why it's called Zoo Brew. Um, so that might be what we do. We haven't done it since last year. Otherwise, don't know too much else. Got probably a full day of work. It's been a very big caseload. So I've had some long days, it feels like. I was told to wear um, scrub pants and then a physical therapy related shirt or a scrub top. So that's the outfit for the day. I'm not bringing my full backpack today because I don't think I should need it, so I'm just bringing my small bag and then I have a lunch and have some water to stay hydrated. I'm not sure what's going on. I don't see anything specific or special on these straws, but when I walked in, all the cold drinks had these little rainbow straws on. I am hoping today is just a nice, smooth day. I, I mean, most orientation days are. I'm not entirely sure if like after today, this is honestly not opening. If it's like, okay, now you're ready to like actually start working. I mean, after eight hours of just orientation and training, I would think it probably would be, but I don't know. Okay, it is right before eight o'clock, which is when I'm supposed to be in there. So I'm gonna head in and I likely won't talk to you guys until I'm done for the day. Guess who's done early? Me, me. Got done early, it's 3.30 right now. And the reason I'm done early, I actually would not have gotten up early, but someone that I see typically for about an hour, he is someone we see outpatient, so he lives in the independent living apartments, but then comes over to the therapy gym. So we see him, but he had to cancel today because he had a schedule conflict. And then um, I had a skilled admit scheduled, but they haven't shown up yet. So then I'm leaving, basically is what I'm saying. But exciting news, I ordered Vegas a um, long lead leash and that showed up today. And so maybe when we get home, we'll take him on his walk slash to like an open field type area. I got him a long lead because I want to work more on like training and recall when we go on our walks. And he's not very good at that, honestly. Um, and then also because if we ever take him swimming or anything, I've heard that long leads are good for dogs who don't have the best recall, but then still like they can go out in the water and then like you can bring them back to you. That also might help us out at the lake, if you guys remember, I said that he started to like run away when we took him up there. So 
hopefully it works out and I'll obviously show you guys how it goes. All right, I am done for the day. It's 3.43, so I'm gonna give you guys a little rundown of my orientation training day. I got here around eight, like I said. From eight to 8.30, um, I kind of got like just familiar with the gym and different things that they have. And then from 8.30 to 9.30, I was with HR doing, reviewing like handbook stuff and then like just different orientation stuff you need to do for HR. I took a picture for my badge, which I'm assuming I'll get next week maybe. And then I also got two t-shirts. So I got two t-shirts. Hopefully they fit me okay. They're cold, holy cow. After I did the HR orientation stuff from like 9.30 until noon, I was basically shadowing different PTs and kind of getting an idea of like the caseload. And then from 12 to one, I had like a one hour lunch break. So I was mostly sitting doing nothing. Um, and then Although I will say, because I need to give them a copy of my dependent and adult and child abuse mandatory reporter training stuff, um, which I was like, I swear I just did it last year, but I could not get into the login stuff when I had previously tried, like when I got, got all this paperwork beforehand. So I was like, I think I'm going to have to redo it, which is so annoying. And then today, um, on my phone during my lunch break, I figured out that I actually was able to get in and that I did it last year. And so now I just need to try and get the certificate stuff and then send it to HR. So that was something off my plate. After lunch then, I kind of reviewed their documentation system and like got my own login stuff for that. There's different compliance modules that um, I'm also going to need to do, I'm guessing. Again, I finished up my day doing some more um, shadowing a little bit. I helped out like a little bit. Like there's some kind of higher function people that they were saying I'd probably start with um, when I am here on my own, which I think next Wednesday I'm gonna do basically a full day here. I liked it, it was a good experience. Um, I think I would like being here and helping out. So I think I shall head home. I also got, this was from I think a patient's family that they were just going out passing stuff because I think they were leaving today. And they were like, you take one, you take one, you take one. I think it's like a sugar cookie. I don't know. Okay, let's try a little taste test of whatever this is. I just pulled it right up the stick. I did not mean to do that. Come on. Oh my. What is it? I got a cookie. It's like pure mint. I don't think I can handle that. Wow. It's like not bad, but like it tastes like pure frosting. I also forgot to mention one of the people that work there, they just got a new puppy that's gonna be like the facility therapy dog. And like, it was an eight week old golden retriever puppy. It was so cute. And like, at one point it was like laying, falling asleep on like the gym floor. And like, it was passed out. It was just like napping and so tired. It was so cute. Okay, I'm gonna go to my computer and send hopefully my stuff to the HR people before I forget. The one thing I try to pay like extra attention to I act like I've had a million different experiences with this and I haven't. Um, but obviously knowing that I do social media stuff and the people that I work for, unless they look me up, like I didn't tell them about it. You don't necessarily have to like disclose that. Um, but I always try to pay like extra attention. Like if anything in the handbook, there's a lot of things to obviously like take into consideration. But I do especially try to like take a second to be like, what exactly, like what is a for sure no how strict are they on their policies and whatnot. Um, I have a copy of it here too. And like none of, it's all about the same. And I also, like there are people who, especially like with permission, decide to like post a lot more and share a lot more if they can. I'd like to just try and keep it separate, but I just try to be like extra mindful of that kind of thing. Sierra sent me um, photos of Team USA's gymnastics lead charts and she's asking my thoughts on them. I did actually see them earlier and I gotta admit, when I first saw them, I was like, I don't know about these, you guys. And I was seeing the pictures of them on the mannequins first. And I think they look worse on the mannequins than just like on. And I think they'll grow on me, but like they look very, I don't mean this in a derogatory way, okay? But like the style of them and like them being more high neck, unless maybe fashion trends have been heading this way anyways. And I just haven't noticed and haven't been paying attention to international competitions. But the leotards and the design look very like European 
and it's just different than I feel like what sometimes the typical American leotards look like. Like the high neck reminds me of that. Just there's something about I feel like American versus European leotards that you can kind of like tell a difference. So, but I saw them on and I thought they looked decent, fine, whatever. If you guys have any thoughts on them, let me know. I am back home, changed, and I stopped at Walmart to get some training treats just to do some like recall training. This is the long line that I got. It's from Amazon. It's 50 feet. And I'm probably not gonna undo it right now, so I'll just wait till we get to the field that we're going to. And then I just found whatever training treats I could. These are the blue buffalo tasty chicken recipe training bites. Let's go, Vegas. We have made it to our open field. This is the long line, all loose. It's kind of funny though, because he's kind of like low key healing to me now, like more than ever. Oh, this could be good. Vegas, come. Oh, good job. Sit. I feel like, why are you walking so close to me right now? I got all this long leash and nothing. Okay, ready, let's try again. Vegas. Good boy. He's doing a pretty good job. He's coming to me even when I'm not asking him to. And there's some dogs outside, which kind of helps to distract him a little bit because he loves dogs. But he's chosen me a few times. Vegas, come. See, this goes to show he has not been that good every time. A little delayed with this one. Sierra and I are getting ready to head out. I think the rain is not supposed to happen anymore, so we're gonna try Zuber out and see see how it compares to last year, because we did go a couple times last year. I've probably worn this outfit a million times. This gray tank top is from H&M. And these are some Abercrombie shorts, and I've got my New Balances on. This crossbody bag is from Amazon. My outfit, these shorts are from Airy. This vest is Sierra's and it's Altered from State. Altered State. I'm wearing my New Balance 574s. And I have my bag, which is from Bagu. I do not know what we built, but we built this. Sierra does know what she chairs. built. That's pretty good. I gotta say. Sierra and I are heading back to the car. It's eight o'clock, so we were there for about two hours. And it did rain a little bit, so that was mistaken. But you can see it's nice and lovely and sunny now. We also got a little big potato. They do have a food truck here, so it's like different every time. But we got like a baked potato. It's called Best Spuds was the name of the food truck here in the Des Moines area. It was good, but it was very filling. Um, so we're heading home. So tomorrow morning, I'm gonna plan on working out. So I always like to pack my gym bag the night before, and then I'll usually set my gym clothes out as well. Okay, that should be good there. I'm gonna change into my pajamas quick, and then I'll finish getting ready for bed. I gotta admit, my reading the past couple nights has been slacking. I usually like to read for like an hour before I actually try and fall asleep, and I've been getting distracted on my phone. So tonight, we're gonna try and prioritize reading. All right, well, hopefully this was a sufficient day in the life vlog and we were somewhat more detailed than normal. If you guys like these kinds of videos, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel down below. We have a podcast called According To. You can listen to it wherever podcasts are available and hear us chat about whatever comes to mind every week. We will see you guys in our next video. Bye. Bye.